This week, on Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to go into a brief introduction of the new data model and how you can show those empty rows if you need to. So first off, we're going to start with our orders table. Now if we wanted to do the normal joining, what we would do, we'd have to click the little drop down and we'd open that in there. I can then join in my people to see um, who is managing each one of those orders. I'm going to do a left join on that one. I'm going to close that. Now if I want a relationship to my returns, if I drag that in, now I've closed my orders box, you can see I now have an orange squiggly line. This is the noodle. So if I drop it, it will come up with a new box which is edit relationship. I can define how I want to have a relationship between these two um, tables and this is on order ID. I can add more fields if I need to and I can also change some of the performance options. I'd only recommend changing these if you really understand what they're doing. So now we have our orders joined with our people and we have our returns. Let's see what we can do. So I go to my sheet one and I take a look at the left hand side. Now notice how we don't have a distinct, distinct difference between dimensions at the top and measures at the bottom. But this is because it's being done now per table. So there's a slight faint grey line per the different tables. If I click discount and drag it up, you'll see that that grey line represents the difference between dimensions and measures. So for each table, you have your sets of dimensions and you have your measures. You'll maybe also notice that there is no more number of records. In fact, you need to now use the orders count, which is your table count. So you have a number of records per table. So you can use these instead. So let's see how this relationship works. So if I drag in my order ID, you'll see that I have down here in the bottom left, I have 5,009 order IDs. Now if I want to see how many of those were returned, I'll drag my returned in and I get 296. But then I kind of lose all of those others that have not been returned and are still processing and we still have the profit for those. So the way that we can do this is if you go to analysis, go to table layout, and you have these two options here, which is show empty rows and show empty columns. Now I'm going to click show empty rows. And this is now going to bring me back my 2000, uh, 5009 rows with 269 marks. The 269 marks are the order IDs that were returned. Now we know a null means no, it wasn't returned, so we can create that calculation. So if I create a calculated field and just call this returned yes, no, and we can say if is null the returned field, then no, else, yes. You can also write an if null statement, so if null then gives you um, if it, if returned, then um, no, then that would also work. Um, so we're going to just use this one and I'm going to click OK. Now notice where my, my calculation has gone. I have only referenced the returns table, therefore it's gone to my returns table dimensions. If I reference something from orders and returns, it will drop down just by the measure names at the bottom. So now if I drag that in, you'll see that we have our no's and our yeses. So if I duplicate this sheet and I put returned onto colour and notice how we only have our yes no yeses now. We don't have our no's anymore. So if I drag returned off 
and move order ID up there and change this to the count distinct. You'll then see that we actually have both of our order returns back. So we have our returned yes and our returned no. We can then change this into a uh, percent of total and see how that works. So we now have 6% was returned and 94% was not returned. But if I go to a new sheet and just drag in that yes, no returned, it's only going to return yes. And if I also go to analysis, table layout, show empty rows, it's still only returning yes because it doesn't have the relationship on the view. So for me to use that calculation, I would need to have order ID in the view. So if I go to analysis and make sure that those are on, and I add order ID in, and you can see now we have our no's and our yeses in our columns because we have our order ID in our view. So that's just a quick how to. Please experiment a little bit more with the data model. And hopefully, if you have any questions, reach out. Um, there's lots of people that understand how it works. That's all for this week. Thank you.